now. Traffic yeah. wardens <laughs> love them or hate them. They've been the face of parking enforcement for over 50 years. But now there's a new kid on the block. In 2008, councils in England and Wales were given a new weapon in their armoury against problem parkers. CCTV cars. They're a small yet significant tool in parking enforcement and are equipped with the latest state-of-the-art technology. Since the new cars have been in operation, penalties outside London have risen by almost half a million. It's not clear if the leap in fines is down to these cars, but drivers everywhere have locked horns with them. Last year, 76-year-old Michael Johns was fined by Medway Council for parking illegally. Only problem is, he claims he wasn't parked at all. He told the council he had been turning into an entrance, but had to reverse to allow a car to pass when he was filmed by a CCTV car. The reverse and brake lights seemed to indicate Mr Johns was manoeuvring. Well, I immediately appealed against it, uh, but the Medway Council didn't allow it, so I took it in my hands and uh, put it through to the adjudicator. And I thought, well, if I don't win it, I don't win it. And, uh, you know, they... <laughs> I won it in the end. <laughs> Despite this win, Medway Council insist he was parked illegally. That the video footage shows this, and they say Mr Johns admitted this in his original appeal. They also said they were given insufficient notification of the parking adjudicator's hearing to be able to attend. But the way the CCTV cars are used is a major issue. The important thing is that the councils are focused on how to use the vehicle and when to use the vehicle and to follow the guidance that's issued to them. Some argue the cars flout guidelines by hiding from public view. Protest group The No to Mobe is determined to highlight the cars to unsuspecting drivers. What are you doing, Bruce? Well, we assist the camera cars in doing their duty. The statutory goal is 100% compliance without penalties. When we're there, they achieve exactly that, because people see the car, they don't commit the offence. Most of the people don't know that they're about to commit an offence until we tell them. Councils still think that the cars are extremely effective. If you're a motorist and you park legally, then you're not going to have a problem, and that would be my message to all motorists. Park legally, and you're not going to have to worry about these cars at all. But even some of the cars have found themselves on the wrong side of the regulations. Nigel Wise received a parking ticket in Richmond in August 2010, but he successfully had it repealed after it was ruled the CCTV car that fined him wasn't properly licensed by the Department of Transport. His case has opened the floodgates and Richmond Council is now looking at having to refund 18,500 tickets issued between 2009 and 2011 at a cost of just over a million pounds. And elsewhere, there are concerns about how the cars operate. There are occasions when the public come and say, well, look, it was parked on a double yellow line for five minutes whilst it was filming me, and why should they park there when I can't? This was photographed in 2010. Camden Council said some of their vehicles have permits allowing them to park anywhere. Drivers have instructions they should only park on double yellows when it's both necessary and safe. With so many questions being asked about mobile CCTV, they're going to remain controversial and the focus of driver's anger. But with other councils ordering even more of them, be warned, because they are going to become an increasingly familiar sight on our roads. <laughs>